On Friday night, I was given a prediction. I was given a projection. I, well, on Friday night, I had a fortune cookie. You know, as the, the usual ones you get from your local Chinese. And yeah, so I, I, I ate it. And yeah, the message inside the cookie read... You will be lucky in love. Now, lads, uh, usually when you say that, it's like as in love, as in kisses, uh, sex, romance, you know, the, the sort of stuff you get in the films. But not me. I immediately thought outside the box. I thought to myself, right, I will be lucky in love. What are the things I love at the moment? Well, currently, surprisingly enough, I don't have a girlfriend. So the only other thing I love at this moment in time is football. Football is my passion. Football, I eat, sleep, and breathe football. And, yeah, and I can't stop watching football videos on YouTube either. So I thought, yeah, it's got to be football. And then again, I thought, Motherwell are playing Celtic on Saturday. I'm going to take that as confidence into the game on Saturday and see what happens. So guys, this is episode 31 of Around the Grounds. Yes, I've got about nine different videos to upload before this, but I thought, because, ho, oh, I'm wearing a Santa suit in this video at some point. Two, also... I want to send this to Copper 90 as soon as possible because this is a true underdog story. And three, I'm going to include this. I, I, I want to send this into, uh, well, a lot of people are asking me for it to be uploaded ASAP. And four, I want to include this and send this to the Scottish Premiership, uh, Scottish Football Banter Without the Old Firm Fans page on Facebook. There's a link down below. Join it if you're not a Celtic or Rangers fan, of course. Those who watch my channel day in, day out, know for a fact that I travel at least an hour and a half to get to Motherwell uh, every second week or something like that, and I always go to the games, especially for this season. Uh, this is actually the first season I've actually done this, like gone to every game week in, week out, and I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I've I've had some brilliant memories, and there have been other times where, like, uh, getting pumped three scud at uh, Ross County, which was four hours each way or something like that. Yeah, it's it, it was a dream to actually beat Celtic at Celtic Park, and yeah, I I have submitted this to. I'm su uh, if you're watching this video now, I've submitted this to Copa Ninety. Uh, it's a YouTube channel with a million subscribers because that's that's where I want to be hitting because uh, Copa ninety is what I want to do when I'm older and stuff like that because I, I want I want I actually want to do like documentaries and tell stories about different football teams, football games, anything to do with football I want to do, and even if Copa ninety take one look at this video. And maybe go to a motherwell game or something like that. That, that. that I'm not. I'm not getting ahead of myself, but that that is what I want to do because oh, Copa ninety is a great inspiration. And these are. This is one of the reasons why I did. I started a football channel or converted this more to a football channel than it originally was. Because originally this was a gaming channel like FIFA, FIFA channel, but I'm starting to move away from FIFA. In a way, enjoy the video. Oh, Merry Christmas! Hey guys, Gogsy here, and welcome to another episode of Around the Grounds. Today it's Mo uh, Mother will take on Celtic at Celtic Park and I'm going dressed as Santa. Yes, that's right, because it's 
in six days it's going to be Christmas. So there's not going to be another chance of me dressing up as Santa before the th before the game or for the game. And yeah, hopefully Motherwell can get the three points. Now, some of you may think I'm completely crazy by saying this, but I actually think Motherwell are going to win today. I think we'll win 1-0 with a Louis Moat penalty. Yeah, I actually think that uh, Louis Moat will, will uh, score a penalty because usually teams, when it's when it's a draw or anything like that, you never get a penalty at Parkhead. It's always the other way around. But I think we'll score one, we'll, we'll, we'll score one goal. Celtic won't score, and we'll win one now. Come on, the boys! Train one of today. That has got to be the busiest train I've ever been towards in the way for So, now, we're going to get the 1302 train to Glasgow Central. And on the train there, I've met another old man who lives in the back. Crazy, crazy. He just sat next to me and started talking to me about Motherwell. It's fantastic.
plus Celtic fans. <laughs> I decided to go against all out Santa. I just decided to go for the hat.
Oh, what fucking fun it is to win something. Is that going to wrap with gloves? Yes. Uh, can I touch them for a bit? Oh, oh yes! He uh, made himself brilliant. Brilliant what I did. Singing a song, Shay on the Celtic all the way. Yes, come on! Father Goldsmith comes in the way with three points. Lucky one. Lucky one. Oh, he scored two, he scored one. Get it round <laughs> Food for the well fine. Come on, Motherwell. Two. <laughs> So I go to the bus, ask for a bus to a single half to Bridge and Cross. Never got that. Yeah. So I asked, asked the driver to take me to Bridge and Cross, and then he never, he never took me there. I ended up getting off at Osborne Street or something like that. But now. Managed to maverick my way through to Glasgow Central. Here I am, just coming up to Glasgow Central. Well, that was unexpected. I just bumped into a few of the well boys. Looking absolutely slabbered, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> yeah, I think they've got the right to after a fantastic result today. But ah, uh, it, was, it was a strange sensation. But uh, now you want to say, See if we can get a train to Edinburgh. 1948. That's the next train. <coughs> now, uh, the next train we get is at 9 past 9, <coughs> which is in 13 minutes, so it's alright, it's alright, folks. We get in. What a day! What a day! Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video because this was a very special day out for me. I know for a fact that a lot of Celtic fans that who were at the game probably disagree with me, but I say on the whole, I think Motherwell actually deserved the three points. I'm not gonna lie. We had a few chances as well that we could have piled more misery on the league's champions. I never thought I'd say that in my life before. I never before I thought I'd say that. But we actually deserved the victory at Celtic Park. Hello. Hello, Gordon. I think we should have the song. Well, 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 super well, 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 super well, 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 super well, super well, super well. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. So, Dad, how often do you have you seen Motherwell win at Parkhead? I think it's only twice. Uh, the first time I was there was in January 1978 
Was um, that Andy Walker that scored it? No, it was Jim Rook. Jim Rook. Jim Rook and a 1 1 0 uh, with a goal in the, in the first half. And we nearly scored in the second half. Jim Rook hit the barrel of deep chip. Delighted today. The other time was uh, in 1991. We'd just drawn with Celtic zeros in the, the, the Scottish Cup. We were playing them at Celtic Park. And mm-hmm. I was actually a guest at the game. And I was in the, in the director's box. And Paul McStay and Charlie Nicholas were sitting there. And Paul McStay said to me, how do you think you'll get on today? Because I was wearing my mother all the time. I says, we'll beat you today and we'll knock you out of the cup next week. So, Tom Boyd scored for Motherwell, equalising in the first half. And Ian Ferguson scored in the second, first minute of the second half. And we won 2-1. And we knocked him out of the cup the next week. 4-2 in the replay with Colin O'Neill scoring that goal. Tense last quarter. This cup. Now O'Neill. Run made by Cusack as a fine effort! Colin O'Neill has scored for Motherwell! A goal of supreme quality! And Motherwell for the first time in the tie are in the lead. Colin O'Neill thundering that shot home. What a turn up! It's his fourth goal of the season. Right inside there by Steve Kirk. He did one look up and drilled us into the top corner. Beyond Pat Bonner. Well, the fellow thought they were unlucky when Ian Ferguson's shot came off the upright on Wednesday. There was no mistake this time. Oh, I'm already halfway to beat you, Dad. I know. <laughs> uh, so, out of the wins that Mother will have had at Celtic Park, it's probably cost me about four hundred pounds of victory. The amount of times I've been there and seen us lose. <laughs> Gogsy here is on seventeen pounds. <laughs> seventeen pounds. What a great record. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to today. Great result. So guys, that was, see, see how much it means to people like us, people that support the minority, people that have yum yums in their hand, wear a motherwell scarf around their neck, it just means so much, even if, it, even if it's just a win at Celtic, it's, it's not going to win us any trophies or anything, but at three points at one of those stadia at one of those two stadia, Ibrox or Celtic Park. Here's a, here's a statistic for you. This was the first time we've ever won at Ibrox and Parkhead in the same year since 1927. Yeah, that that's just an outstanding statistic. But that's, that's what makes things so special. Supporting a team like Motherwell. I mean, out on the way, on the... Tr- on the train home, I was I was standing with Celtic fans. I was having banter with them, and, and those are those. They see when you're wearing a scarf like this, whether it's blue and white for Kilmarnock, Clark and Amber for Motherwell, black and white for St Mirren. People notice you. People speak to you, and also at at Haymarket, I, I spoke to a couple of Hearts fans, and they said to me, "So how did you think of that?" Smiling away, because everyone loves it. When teams like Rangers and Celtic get beat, Rangers, Celtic, Man United got beat today. And Motherwell were one of those three teams that won in those fixtures. That's, it, it's so rare that these things happen. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave please leave a like down below. I can't stop smiling. Uh, subscribe if you're new and share, share this channel please. Because this channel is... This channel is just about supporting the minority with yum yums and motherwell scarves and yeah it's promoting the fact that you should support a small team don't just follow what your family supports or whatever but anyway guys I'll see you later guys Wait, take care roses are red, violets are blue, Celtic 1 motherwell 2! Hey. Second agent now, mama said I make a plan. I told her I made a vow just to wait around in the year I'll put her in a house. On the 
shore or on a coast or an island And every month I'd hop on a plane to fly in yeah. And take a shot for whatever she wants to buy yeah. She made me who I am, I got the heart of a lion yeah. yeah, and for that mama I'm gratified Grinding harder than everybody so please don't act surprised When you see me pass your eyes quickly as I'm passing by Grinding boys, strap or die, holy I'm a mastermind